I think Future Perfect is a show that wants to talk uh, about the future while moving into the future because it, it's planned for such a long time and geographically we move through so many countries, it's for me really interesting. In general you could say that I'm interested in creating art together in a form of togetherness either with the audience or with other artists and uh, when I heard that the show was supposed to travel around the world for five years or four years, I thought it would be fantastic if my work not only arrives in a place and it gets installed and is like an object to be seen, but if it in some way would interact with the countries I, um, it would travel to. Yeah, so the, uh, the installation is called Entity. Entity, it's a being, yeah? And uh, what you see is a group of people handing over some strange object. It's, it's a round yellow object with a lot of bubbles on top. It could be a fruit. And you see another more abstract element. And finally you see a glass cube with a shriveled, mummified fruit inside. And you see a little sketch that seemingly shows the same object. Uh, in my original science fiction story, um, it's a living artwork, living in the sense of dying, because this life um, is um, it's living only in the sense that it consumes itself. It has no interaction with the outside world. It's a monade. Um, yeah, <laughs> monad, it's a term by Leibniz. In my story, it's an object that I develop in the future with a biotechnology company and it replaces all other artworks. And this installation asks for a narration to tell the story of what, what the spectator sees. In the first place, I had written that narration. It's a science fiction story. Um, and um, then I thought it would be really nice if in each country there was a new narration written by someone from that country and this person would not know my original text or the other texts that came before so um, that in each country there would be totally new interpretation of my work and that would also be the official narration um, about that work. And in Brazil I asked Agencia Transitiva, uh, a young uh, group from Rio, working a lot with text, translations and deconstruction of culture and institutional critique um, to work with me um, and all these texts somehow have a certain I would say feeling in common in so far as all of them turn out to be science fiction stories in some way or other and they all have um, something that I can really relate to my work. Yeah, my hope for this, for this installation is that through the text that um, will um, come together, but also maybe through other interactions like the one that I had now with this performance with Agencia Transitiva, um, the monadic, monadic object in the center of my um, painting will become something else. It will be transformed yeah, from what I had designed it to be in the beginning in 2009 uh, it will acquire totally different meanings, very like multiple meanings, and it will be activated to become a, a, a really living object yeah, that um, gives back something to the world. And I think that would be the most beautiful thing if that could happen. It, and in its sense, if it would be transformed from something that I, in my science fiction story, was a monadic organism without any. Um, any uh, communication with the outside world to what it really is, which is uh, a fruit, part of nature, and it's a multi-seed fruit. It's a fruit that has all these little bubbles contain one seed, and when it rots, all these seeds can go out and can make new trees. Um, so that's my hope for the future.